All right, it's that Thank you, Stream. I can't help but get too over-speculated with all these speculations about the new game, Fallout 76. If you're not aware of what it is, it's a new Fallout game, which I'm very surprised about, because I wasn't expecting to see another Fallout game until at least the 20s, 2020, 2021, something like that. But I am I am such a Fallout fan. Fallout is probably my favourite ever series. Fallout New Vegas, favourite ever game. Fallout 3, one of my favourite ever games. Fallout 4, I'm going to talk about that later. Um, so... Fallout 76, I'm hearing a lot of speculation saying it's going to be just set in a vault. It's going to be like DayZ or Rust. It's going to be an online game like DayZ, Rust, Conan Exiles, Ark, etc. Okay, now listen. I wouldn't mind. I honestly wouldn't mind if it was online as a mode. I want it to focus mostly on story, but I wouldn't mind it as a mode. Now, but as a mode, when I say online, I mean co op. Not online like. Online RPGs like Daisy, etc. I mean, like co-op, like you can bring a couple friends maximum. That's it to help you build or take out bandits, whatever. Do quests. I feel like that'd be cool. I've been talking about that for a long time. I've always thought uh, that'd be cool if you could bring friends to your Fallout world, to your wasteland, to join you if you like companions. However, I think it's very unlikely to be honest with you. I feel as if after the failure of Elder Scrolls Online, I know it's a bit harsh to say it's a failure, but come on, it didn't take as much success as everyone thought it would. It definitely wasn't too much of a success. I feel like after that, they can either really improve it, which I doubt it, but I just don't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't. I already don't. I don't think that Fallout Online will be a thing. Okay, so in this teaser slash trailer, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really tell you when the game is going to be set. It just says Fallout 76, which a lot of people have been thinking uh, it's going to be set in 2076, which is a straight no, because I don't, I, well, I don't think so, because, okay, okay, now I, I've got to tell you something. The, the bombs dropped, the Great War, the whole, when the whole nuclear bombs dropped, 2077. So that would be a year after 2076, so it can't be set 2076, so why would they be in a vault? And I've done my research, and apparently in Fallout 3, there was a vault in the, in the Citadel, that said, Vault 76 opened 20 years after the bombs dropped. And now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because it says at the end of the trailer, yeah, at the end of the trailer, it says our future begins. So, what does that mean? Does that mean it's set in 20, 20, 2097? Because obviously, the bombs dropped 2077 and 20 years after the bombs dropped will be 2097 what does that mean? but there's also another there's another thing the pit boy says 2102 21st of October 2102 whatever that means does that mean it's going to be set then? does that mean when the pit boy's created? I have no idea this is driving me crazy why? it's just give me, just give me more than just a vault please and to be honest, because the whole, I'm going to see if I have to back to my speculation earlier, because the whole trailer is set, based, or resolved around the, the vault, I feel like it's just going to be in the vault, because all the other trailers, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, all the other Fallouts, they never just show the trailer in the vault. It doesn't show us any wasteland. The game is called Fallout 76. Why call the game Fallout 76? Obviously, the vault has to play a huge part, whether or not, it's going to be set in it, the vault's going to play a huge part, because why name a game after the vault, only have the trailer base resolve the vault? It doesn't make any sense if it wasn't. So I really do think that Fallout 76 will resolve a lot around the vault, because it doesn't really make sense otherwise. Why name a game after it? Why base the whole trailer around, or the teaser or trailer around the vault? It doesn't really make any sense. You don't see one glimpse of the wasteland. I, I, I know I said it would probably be set in West Virginia, I mean... If it is, if you do get a guy outside the wasteland, I do think it'll be in West Virginia. However, it's just uh, so many theories. Although it makes sense in my head, I refuse to believe it because it would destroy me as such a huge Fallout fan to have a game just resolved a vault to wait f what four years just around the vault. That depresses me. That really destroys me. And I just can't bear that thought, so I refuse to believe to believe it. But I'm just gonna go as if it's not 
because I'm that sort of person and I'm going to just hope for the best that it's set outside the vault not all of it of course because obviously some of it's set inside the vault as we can see here and obviously it was a Fortnite game without a vault but yeah I hope we go out in the wasteland do some epic quests I really hope they keep the building feature from Fallout 4 however I really hope they fix the role playing from Fallout 4 because ro Fallout 4 you couldn't even be like who I wanted to be you couldn't even be a bad guy or there wasn't really many alliances to join I thought it lacked length, I didn't like the dialogue, I didn't like how you could hear what your character was actually saying, you could hear his actual voice or her voice I know that sounds a bit weird me saying that, however I did think it took a lot away from the game, I thought they could have done a lot more work on the actual game instead of spending a lot of time on the game in the studio making the voice actors say everything over and over again I feel like instead of doing that, they could have just put a lot more work in quests and so on, etc. But overall, I am very excited for this. I'm a huge Fallout fan. I absolutely love Fallout since I first played it. I've always, always, always get so impatient for these games when I finish it because there's usually quite a long wait between these games. And um, that's my overall opinion on this game, anyway. So thanks for watching. And see you later. Peace.